Mike Ganter along with Steve Simmons. We're here at the Renaissance in Cleveland waiting game five. Steve, I mean, we, there was no availability today, but we did have a short conversation with, uh, with Coach Dwayne Casey uh, on a conference call, and um, he didn't really have too much new to say, but he did talk a little bit about Jonas Valanciunas and his plans for him. Well, one thing, he, he wants to get Valanciunas in the game. He's just not sure how to go about it at this point. A lot will come down to what Cleveland chooses to do with its centers. If Tristan Thompson's in the game, you might see Valanciunas playing in Game 5. If Channing Fry is playing all the time, then I don't think you're going to see Valanciunas at all. So right now they have the weapon. Whether they choose to use it or not, a whole different story. Um, so yeah, we haven't seen uh, Jonas since Game 3 of the Miami series. Again, like you said, Channing Fry, he can't chase him around the perimeter. That's not his gig. If him, he, he'll match up with Tristan Thompson well, but, but it, sounds, it sounds like Cleveland's going to throw a lot more Channing Fry at the Raptors than they have in the past. Though. Well, they have to because Kevin Love, has, so far in the series, has really been a big zero. So the guy they normally turn to to do a lot of their shooting hasn't been good for them. So right now, you, you've got to look to Fry. Fry has been good. Yep. And the strange thing is with Alan Shunas, I wonder if the Raptors put him on their bench as a bit of a psychological thing. So it's something else that Cleveland has to think about, even though they don't use him. Dwayne Casey's always the kind of coach that wants to prevent what the other team is doing rather than sort of push at the team. And I wonder if Tyron Lue is the same way. Yeah. Anyway, uh, game five, uh, Thursday, sorry, Wednesday night, tip off at 8.30. We'll find out what happens in this series then. For Steve Simmons, I'm Mike Ganter for Post Media.